Now, let's add keyboard code to do the same thing for those that aren't using Xbox 360 controllers. Add a new line under the line you just added and type the following. Pound if exclamation point all uppercase Xbox capital keyboard state lowercase keyboard state equals keyboard dot get state open parenthesis close parenthesis semicolon if open parenthesis keyboard state dot is key down open parenthesis keys dot left close parenthesis close parenthesis open curly brace canon dot rotation minus equals 0 0.1 f semicolon close curly brace if open parenthesis keyboard state dot is key down open parenthesis keys dot right close parenthesis close parenthesis open curly brace canon dot rotation plus equals 0 0.1 f semicolon close curly brace pound and if the first thing to explain are the lines at the top and bottom these lines that start with a number sign or pound sign are preprocessor commands the specific command pound if exclamation point xbox commands the compiler the part of the visual c sharp 2005 express edition that turns your code into a working program to only compile the code until the next pound end if if the project is not an xbox 360 project if it is an xbox project the compiler is instructed to remove the code and not compile it. This means the keyboard code is disabled on Xbox and will only work on a Windows project. We then instantiate and assign a keyboard variable. This is very similar to gamepad state, only instead of the state of all the buttons on an Xbox 360 controller, it's the state of all the keys on the keyboard. We check the keyboard state using a set of conditionals. If the left key is pressed, then we rotate the cannon in the negative direction. If the right key is down, we rotate it in the positive direction. Finally, we want to make sure the player can only rotate the cannon up to a point. They shouldn't be able to rotate the cannon all the way around. Add a new line after the pound and if and add the following line. Cannon dot rotation equals math helper dot clamp open parenthesis canon dot rotation comma negative math helper dot pi over two comma zero close parenthesis semicolon this is a mathematical function called clamp it takes a value in this case the current rotation of the canon game object then two values the minimum and maximum values you wish to clamp between the first value will be checked against the min and max values if the value is between the min and max values it won't be changed. If it is higher than the maximum value, it will become the maximum value. If it is lower than the minimum value, it will become the minimum value. In this way, we can make sure the canon rotation 
never goes higher or lower than we want. The values we chose for min and max might seem a little strange at first. Negative math helper dot pi over 2 and 0. This is because the rotation for the cannon is expressed in radians, not degrees. The rotation values in degrees are between 0 and 90 degrees, but in radians, that's 0 to negative pi over 2. Next step, drawing the cannon.